All right. Let's talk about opportunities in Salesforce. So, what are opportunities here? Opportunities are deals in progress. That's an important key. It's in progress. In Salesforce, you can create opportunities for existing accounts or by converting a qualified lead. Let's explore how to use an opportunity to track your deals, better understand who you're selling to, and focus your team efforts. So before we proceed to our trailhead playground, opportunities has stages. So when you create an opportunity, you can decide what stage the opportunity is in. Are we still prospecting the opportunity? Is it on the proposal stage where we have sent a proposal to the client? Is it in the negotiation or review process? Is it close one? Is a close deal? Is a done deal or a have we lost the opportunity? It's a close loss. These are out of the box opportunity stages. You can definitely customize any new opportunity stage you want to create based on what your organization needs. So like everything else um, in Salesforce, it is totally customizable. So before we proceed, I want to launch my trailhead playground on my hands-on org here let's go to the admin certification launch this and I can close this okay let's move on so we want to create a new opportunity right so how can you create that the best way is you navigate from the account record where you want to create an opportunity for for example if i go to my sales app over here my sales app and then i head over to accounts so instead of going to opportunities i'm going to go to accounts and then i want to make an opportunity for example for get cloudy west i head over there and then opportunities here I want to create a new one for uh, Get Cloudy West. So let's follow along. Let's name an opportunity Get Cloudy 50 Custom Sneakers. I'm going to copy that. So 50 Custom Sneakers. And as you can see, it's already linked to the account name, which is the Get Cloudy West. So what is the type? Um, well, this you can choose any for this example. I'm going to choose um, not new customer, existing customer upgrade. It might not be related for now. And the stage, let's say this stage is still prospecting. Okay. Um, actually, it needs analysis. So I'm going to change that to needs analysis. Again, the stages of the opportunity are totally customizable. You can change what values are available on the setup process. Okay, so that's basically what we want to do for this particular example. And then we want to choose the close date of the opportunity. I am going to choose one month, October. 20 as the close date and hit save so we've created a new opportunity get cloudy 50 custom sneakers was created all right next up we want to talk about contact roles on opportunities okay so upon further investigation on um, the get cloudy west account if I drill into here, I find out that the this particular opportunity deal has um, 
these contacts that can influence um, this opportunity. So for example, if I go click on contact rows, I am adding a contact row because upon calling to uh, the account and I was assigned to Aparna Bosu and apparently she is um, the, the one who makes decision at uh, Get Cloudy West. So I am going to choose Aparna, um, Aparna Bosu as the contact role. What is her role? I can choose here. She is the decision maker. Do we have a decision maker? Yes. So and you can add multiple roles to any opportunity. Okay. So basically, um, Aparna is the decision maker. So I'm going to choose that. Now you can see uh, this opportunity has one contact role, which is um, Aparna Bosu. So now you know all oh, this particular deal. You know who is responsible for this deal? Oh, you can see if there's multiple contacts. So the next time you want to make a deal with this organization, which is Get Cloud US. You can see who are the key roles in closing the deal and you can approach the same people. All right, let's move on. I think that's basically it. We are going just to discuss about um, opportunity stages and then the contact roles. Now let's go ahead and proceed and do the challenge here. Create a new opportunity to track your new deal and the opportunity is get cloudy 24 holiday sneakers and the account is get cloudy not get cloudy us but just get cloudy here so i'm going to go to get cloudy and make a new opportunity the name of the opportunity is get cloudy 24 holiday sneakers and then its uh, stage is value proposition stage value proposition and then what else do we need to set up and then we can add alan johnson as a decision maker and i'm going to set the, the close date which is also well for for holiday sneakers december maybe december the first uh, the first week or the second week they already have to uh, you know decide whether to close the deal and buy the sneakers or not. I'm going to save that. Now, if I go to the opportunity, get cloudy 24 holiday sneakers, I want to assign the contact role, which is Alan Johnson. So I'm going to hit that. I think it already exists. I'm at a contact role. There you go. Alan Johnson here. And he would be, I think, the decision maker, right? Decision maker. And that's pretty much it. He would be the decision maker of this opportunity. So Alan gets to decide if they want to close this deal with us or not. That's pretty much it. Now let's get the points. And we'll see you on the next video, which is sell as a team and split the credit with your sales team or your account team bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing! Bada boom.